In this video, I'll talk to you about some of the advantages of storing the session in the database in CodeIgniter. And we can see here from CodeIgniter session documentation that this way is going to be more secure because instead of storing those key value pairs of all the information we want you know, to give our user in the cookie, instead we're just going to store a session ID in that cookie. And that session ID is going to match up with the session ID in our CI sessions table of the database. And then once it makes a match on session ID, we're going to be able to get all of our user session information from this row in the table. So we have like session ID here and we have last activity, which CodeIgniter is going to use to know when it should kill the session and then delete this row from the table. And then we also have our custom user data. So for example, when our user logs in, then we start storing whatever um, user data we want for them like maybe their name or whether they logged in or not and things like that. You can store anything you want in this user data right here and that's just stored in a serialized format um, in this cell of the database. So you can see that some of the rows here in my table, some of them have user data and some of them don't have user data set. And the reason for that is that I'm auto loading sessions um, in this CodeIgniter application. So that means no matter when a user visits our website, whether they're logged in or not, um, it's going to set a session for them on that first time. And it's going to store um, all of this information here from like last activity over to um, the first one. It's going to store all of this stuff in the session except for user data. User data is set by ourself. So you'll see that um, I've actually started storing user data um, when the user first registers and then after they log in, I'm actually updating this user data stuff right here. So let me just show you first how to um, create this table in your database. Um, on CodeIgniter's session page, um, if you just scroll down here and just make this a bit bigger, um, you'll see we have saving session data to the database. And all you have to do is just um, copy and paste this text right here um, into your, if you're using phpMyAdmin, just uh, you know paste that into the SQL there or you can type it in over command line, however you want to do it. And that is going to create this CI sessions table for you. The next thing you need to do is go over to your config.php and you're going to scroll down here to this, um, this bit about sessions. And you're going to uh, make sure the table name is the same as uh, what it was, um, whatever it is in your database. In my case, it's just CI underscore sessions. And then we want sess use database. We want this set to true. And once you have um, these two things set, then CodeIgniter is going to automatically um, start storing the sessions in your database, provided you have you know, a valid connection to your database and you have that table created. Another thing you can set in here is the session expiration. So I've currently set this to a week. You'll see I have 60 seconds times 60 seconds um, times 24 hours times 7 days. And you can set this to um, whatever number you want. And one really nice thing about storing the sessions in the database is that you can easily see your table here, um, you know, see what users you have logged in, which ones are logged in, which ones aren't. Um, you can query this table however you want. And it's just really a convenient way. Um, I'm going to show you one way that it can help you out um, just using example. So I just want to show you an example of when this can come in handy. Um, you'll see at the bottom here I have a new field which is um, users currently logged in and this was really easy to do with CodeIgniter because we're storing the sessions in the database and basically all I had to do was query that um, table in order to get this information. If you weren't storing your sessions in the database you'd probably need to do something like you need to update your users table to add a column for logged in or not and then you'd need to update that value every time they logged in and then you would need to update it again when they logged out and then you need to query that um, you know to get this information, but it's a lot easier to do with CodeIgniter and I'm going to show you how I did that. So I'm just going over to my helper file here. Um, in my case, I've created a custom helper and I have some of my my own functions in here. And I'm just going to go down to this one here, um, which is function count logged in. And the first thing I'm doing is I'm getting an instance of CodeIgniter because um, I'm in a helper file right now, so we first need to get an instance of it. And the next thing I'm doing is creating my SQL statement. And I'm selecting the count from CI sessions where the user data is like logged in and then a one right there. 
So I'll just show you um, why I had to do like that. Let's just go back over um, to our sessions table for a second here. And you'll see that we, you know, what we don't want to do is we don't want to select all of the sessions to get the logged in users because um, like I said, anytime a user hits our website, we, even if they just visit one time and they don't log in, um, they're going to have a session created for them, but they're not going to have any user data set. So the first thing that I did was I queried this database um, just to select this where user data is not equal to an empty string. Okay, so when I did that, I got all of the rows back that had something in here for user data. Okay, but the problem was um, inside my user data here, um, the, anyways, the way I did my application was um, I was hitting some user data when they just registered, but logged in was being set to zero. And then when they actually did activate their account and then they logged into it, I, upda I updated this to be logged in is, is equal to one. So we not only want to check that some user data is set here, we also want to set, or sorry, we also want to check that this value logged in um, is equal to one and not zero. So if I go back over to my SQL right here, you'll see all I had to do was um, select where user data is like, and then we have this percentage sign here, and then logged in. Um, we need to escape this double quotation mark because our SQL statement is wrapped in double quotation marks. So just escape that there, and then we have one, or sorry, I colon one. And what that's going to do is it's going to select all of the people with user data here, and that logged in is set to one. So if I go over to my site here, um, this is my local version, I refresh here, and it's showing the user is currently logged in. And then on my live site where a lot more stuff is happening, you'll see the user's logged in is 44. So um, that's just a little demonstration of um, how easy it is to store sessions in database in CodeIgniter and also some advantages you can get from, by doing that.